Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and today I'm going to show you my new lineup. Uh, it hasn't changed all that much from the... Uh, actually, it's changed a decent amount from the last video. I think I showed it. Um, I can't remember um, how much of it I showed you if uh, these guys were in it. My offensive line I know is the same. Jake Long, Hutchinson, Pouncey, DeCastro, and Karimi. Uh, really solid offensive line. I know I could get the Joe Thomas over here, but Jake Long has been playing pretty good. Uh, these two Michigan players, I can't bust huge runs with Barry for some reason. But it, every time I run that way, it's like a guaranteed five yards or four yards. Uh, it's always a guaranteed. This way, if I run it this way, it's either a huge run or a one-yard run or a loss. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't run it up the middle really all that often, like through Pouncey, like behind him. I don't really run it that way. Heath Miller is an 80 overall lineman. Wow, didn't know that. Um, if you go to my pass offense, we got Desmond Howard, Braylon Edwards, Randy Moss, um, and then Michael Urban as my fourth. You can see Charles Woodson. Somebody was asking me this. Charles Woodson is a 79 overall wide receiver. Um, I'm running Kellen Winslow Sr. or Jr. Why wow, I keep saying Sr. Uh, because his stats, all of them, if you go and compare uh, every single stat that uh, Kellen Winslow Jr. is better than uh, Heath Miller. Heath, Mi Heath Miller is a better blocker, though. But I uh, don't really use my tight end to block. Um, I usually use it to uh, pass. And even if I do uh, use it to run, usually it's two tight ends set when I run it. So uh, there's no really use for me to use Heath Miller as my one. Uh, defensive front, uh, we got Pollock, Sapp, Wilfork, and Suggs. I want to get the Reggie White here to replace Pollock and move Pollock to take over Suggs spot. But uh, I don't want to pay 160000 for Reggie White. So I'm going to definitely wait on that or wait until they release uh, another right end or left end. Uh, left outside linebacker, I got Jarvis Jones. And right outside linebacker, I have Peter Bulware. And I know I didn't have this guy in the last video I did. Uh, so I am playing him as right outside linebacker because the best right outside linebacker is Wesley Woodyard. And he's only a 91. Uh, so I can play Bulware there and Jarvis Jones there. Or I can switch them vice versa. Um, just to try to have a better linebacker core. That's pretty much the only reason I do it like this. This is the only reason I have to play this guy out of position. The only reason I have to play Pollock out of position because um, all the left ends are expensive. The Mario Williams is stupidly expensive for a gold card. Um, I don't know if he dropped, but still Pollock at 96 is still better than him, and the Reggie White is too expensive for me to buy. Uh, for my secondary here, uh, Charles Woodson obviously playing the one, uh, Champ Bailey as the two, Alfonso Smith as the three, and then, I don't know, I play, I kind of rotate Kaysen, D'Angelo, and uh, Pac-Man as my four. Uh, safeties, I got Sean Taylor uh, as free, Michael Huff is strong, and then Ed Reed backing up both of them. Uh, so when three safeties come out, I got Ed Reed as the third one. Uh, kicker and punter, uh, Norton and Gano, I think that's the same as before. Ted Ginn is kick and punt returner. Gano is kickoff starter, and Pouncey as a uh, long snapper. Team items, I'm using the Oregon team items now. I uh, don't know if I want to use the Oregon playbook or Michigan. I'm still kind of on the fence about that. I need to get rid of this 4-3 defense. I don't need that. Um, and then let me show you guys the Reggie White and the Mario Williams and whatnot. So let's see here. Elite left end. I think Mario Williams played for NC State, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but there's Reggie White up for 160000 I just don't want to pay the 160000 for him. It's a little too expensive. It actually is a lot too expensive. I'd pay like 100 maybe. Um, at max, 100 yeah, I, I'd prefer to pay like 75 or 50k for him, but it's going to take quite some time for him to get that cheap. And if they remove him from packs, then he will go up in value and I just won't ever get him. But I assume they'll release more and better left ends and whatnot. Mario Williams is 12k, uh, but I, I, just, I don't know. I don't really want to use him over over uh, Pollock or Suggs. Uh, so I'm just, I, I think I'm just going to leave it how it is. I don't like running players out of position or dupes. But I don't run any dupes, I don't think, in this game. No, I don't run any dupes, but uh, I do have a couple guys out of position. Uh, I got Pollock out of position and Bullware out of position. Um, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. It's not too big of a problem. 
Uh, they play pretty good. Uh, I don't. I don't really know. I w I don't want to run them out of position, but I don't really have another choice because there isn't really another good left end that's decently cheap. That's not super expensive. There's not one of those, and there's not a good right outside linebacker because they move Suggs down to right end. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to wait until they release a better right outside linebacker. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.